Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to 2024. It's a new year, it's a fresh start. And I'm gonna give you an update today on everything we're doing in our lives, what me and Raya are up to, and Neo, and some of the projects I've got coming up on my channel, some of the exciting things I've got planned. Just giving you a big update basically, because there's so much to update you on. This month has been actually really tough, and I'm gonna go into that a little bit later but it has been a tough start to the year. If you've been following along on mine and Raya's channel, you would have seen that we did a Vlogmas, which was daily vlogging through the whole of December up to Christmas. That really took it out of me. It was great fun. It was good to experiment with a bit of daily vlogging again, but definitely the first few weeks of Jan, I was in full recovery mode from very late night, staying up editing and just being on the go all month and then hosting our families throughout Christmas uh, again, really fun really glad we did it but i needed i needed a bit of a rest beginning of jan the big news is that any day now we're going to be flying to costa rica for a number of months and we were due to leave in the first week of january and we've had so many hurdles we have been really struggling to get raya's passports back Back in July, we applied for a spousal visa for her to have permanent residency here so we could live here part of the year. Anyway, it's been such an incredibly long process. Oh, hello. Hello, little doggy. <laughs> Who's this little dog? Anyway, we patiently waited six months for this visa that was supposed to take two months. We sadly last year missed one of her best friend's weddings and we kind of got to the point where we're like, well, we want to be traveling again. We want Neo to travel. He's got his passport. He got it all the way back in June, I think. Anyway, got to December and we decided we want to cancel the visa application and we'd learned that we could reapply from outside the country and hopefully get it approved within a fraction of the time. We could pay extra to get it expedited, something we couldn't do here. We were supposed to get all our documents back within 10 working days. That came and went, that deadline. And we were like, what is going on? And then I think three weeks later, out of the blue, Raya had received a family visa, which isn't the visa we applied for, but it was a visa based on the fact that Neo was born here. And it's cool that we got that. We'll probably still apply for the spousal visa so she, she can get a five year pathway to citizenship. But anyway, the main thing we want is the passports. And for whatever reason, they weren't sent back. We've been patiently waiting, calling every day, emailing. It's impossible to get through to anyone who can do anything. It's, it's a complete shambles, if I'm honest. We've been reaching out to the local MP. Every few days we've been thinking all oh, the passports are about to arrive. We booked flights, we had to cancel them. We booked another set of flights because the documents were coming through. We had the tracking details and then it was her residency card, but not the passports. Anyway, after all of this, any day now, we're hoping in the next few days, we will receive her passports back and we'll be able to book flights and leave. So partly that's why I haven't made an update video because I was hoping to do this from Costa Rica, but the next video will be from Costa Rica. A lot of my videos over the next three months, whilst we're out there hopefully, will be focused on our land that we bought out there. If you've been following along, we've got an acre of land in this amazing eco village up in the mountains, in the jungle uh, called Alegria is the name of the village. We're raring to start planning our house, what we're gonna build there, what we're gonna plant there. We wanna live off the land, grow amazing fruits and vegetables. And luckily now there's a bunch of people living there. When we first moved out just before our wedding, almost two years ago, it was empty. We were the first people living there. It was a little bit tough. The community aspect wasn't there but now people are living there. There's houses being built. Some of our best friends, Kristen and Sierra are there with Kai, their daughter, and we're just excited to get out and uh, start experiencing that jungle, eco, conscious community that we, we've we been dreaming of and yeah, start planning our land. A big thing we need to do is move the school bus that we have down there into a better position. We've had some complaints because we're like basically parked on the public road slightly. We're gonna re-renovate the inside, which I can go into in the next video, but we're basically gonna remove the toilet and shower, some of the storage areas and redo the interior layout. And then eventually we'll build some kind of big structure around the bus and some decking and start planning a permanent building. So any day now, we're gonna head off on that adventure. And I'm excited for this to be Neo's first time out of the country. If any of you've got tips for flying with a nine month old baby, please leave them below. <laughs> 
Today's video is in paid partnership with BetterHelp, a convenient online therapy. Like I said, the beginning of this year has been difficult for me. Definitely have been struggling with January blues, uh, also feeling burnt out from the really intense December and all of this uncertainty around whether or when we can travel next. Uh, for the first time in a long time, I felt my mental health is really suffering and I've needed support. BetterHelp provides that support by connecting you with credentialed therapists trained to listen and provide unbiased advice. Therapy can be tough to start, especially if the right therapist isn't in your area, but BetterHelp allows you to have sessions via a phone call, video chat or messaging, whatever suits you best. You just fill out a short questionnaire and get matched within 48 hours and then schedule your sessions at your convenience. If the first match isn't perfect, then you can switch at no additional cost. Your mental well-being deserves attention, just like your physical health. So if you're considering therapy, I highly recommend BetterHelp. You can click the link in the description. It not only helps support this channel, but also gives you 10% off your first month. So if you want to take a step towards a healthier, happier life and give your mind the attention it deserves, click the link below. One of the things I said last January was that I wanted to be in the best physical shape of my life by the time I hit 40. As you've seen on my channel this year, I've done a number of fitness challenges, whether it was running a half marathon, running my own marathon solo, riding 120 miles to Antwerp, kayaking to the wind farm out here, 20 mile kayak. There's been a bunch of challenges that I've really enjoyed and I wanna step it up this year. I've got a ton of exciting plans and I'm gonna be training whilst in Costa Rica. I'm at altitude, we're on quite a steep hill, so I've decided I really need to get into trail running. I think it's a completely different thing that I've been doing with completely flat running. I've just been running up and down the shorefront here with no elevation. So I've been warned this is an entirely different experience. So I'm gonna slowly ease into the trail running, but I'm excited, I think it will provide a lot more adventures and I think it's gonna boost my fitness levels incredibly. And I have felt this year for this last month just feeling a bit low and then last month being so busy with Vlogmas, I have felt that I haven't been as focused on my fitness and I really want to get back into the swing of things this year. And I think because we have been like packed, ready and waiting to leave, we haven't really planned anything this year. We haven't got into any routines because we're like itching to go. We're like, it's any day now, it's any day now. So I feel like everything's kind of on pause. We're waiting in this limbo. And as soon as I get out to Costa Rica, I'm going to really get into some healthy routines. We're gonna be getting up earlier. I wanna get into stretching and yoga. I wanna get into trail running. I guess I should really start now, but because it's gonna be any day now, fingers crossed, any day now, we're gonna be out there. That's the fresh start I'm waiting for. And I think luckily because of the jet lag, when you go west, you actually end up naturally waking up a lot earlier. So I feel like this will be a brilliant way to become morning people and align with Neo's sleep pattern because he's getting up at like 7 a.m. every morning now and it's quite brutal for us because we are not morning people at all. I think this is going to be good because our body clocks are going to shift to, to be awake in the mornings. I've also got a bit of explaining to do for those of you that have been following my Beetle build. My intention was I'd be doing a lot more work on the Beetle, converting it to electric last year. The end of last year I was planning on doing a lot of stuff and then November and the end of October Neo got ill and we were just you know struggling just to kind of balance parenting and me helping Raya and us doing all the other stuff and making videos on our channel and I think I underestimated how kind of busy I would be and I had optimistically thought oh I can just take out a few hours a day and nip into the garage and build stuff with a beetle so that didn't happen and I was also intending to do a, a bunch of work through November and then upload all of that work on the Beetle throughout December. And again, that didn't happen. We were doing Vlogmas. So I am behind on the project. I have filmed a bunch of stuff. I've made some progress, but I've decided I don't really want to release any of the series anymore until I've completed it because otherwise you'll be waiting a month for the next episode, another month for the next episode. This way I can complete it and then upload episodes weekly and I think that's going to be way more exciting to follow and if I look back at my Volkswagen van I did in California, I actually didn't even upload the first episode until I'd finished the project so I think that is the way to go but it just relies on your patience a little bit so I appreciate you being patient. Some of the other projects to look forward to when we get back which will be probably late April I am planning a road trip down to Italy 
in my electric moped that I haven't actually shown or talked about yet. The dream is that I can do some of it solar powered. It might be completely ambitious and ridiculous, but I'm gonna try. So that's gonna be fun, something fun to look forward to. And then me and Raya want to do a bunch of road tripping in the summer with the Tesla. And I've mentioned it a few times, but basically I don't want to fully reveal what we're planning, but it involves towing something and <laughs> renovation and I'll leave it there. But I think that'll be a really fun project to dive into when we get back in April as well. And hopefully spend a few months getting that road trip solution figured out, ready for the summer. I guess another big thing to update you on if you haven't been following along the couples channel is how much I have absolutely adored being a dad. I knew I would love fatherhood, but I can't quite describe how incredible it is. And I think I've really valued the flexibility that we've had in our life due to this job that we have, which I'm unbelievably grateful for, that we can work for ourselves, that we can choose our own hours, that we can decide when we need to go off and do projects and do work and... Uh... Oh, hello. Yeah, so I think Having that flexibility has allowed me to spend a lot more time with Neo than probably most people get to spend time with their kids. But I especially feel like over the last couple of weeks that I have formed a, a, a deeper bond, a new level of bond with Neo. You know, occasionally Raya's holding him and he leans out and he wants to hug me. He chooses me over Raya. Most of the time he chooses Raya, but occasionally he's chosen me. He's saying Dada now. He, he's smiling when he sees me. It's this connection that I can't really describe and this intensity of love that I've never experienced. It's, it's quite different from a, a romantic partner love or even a love for your brother or sister or parents. It's, there's something about a love for a child that a lot of you know what I'm talking about if you, if you had children, but I cannot wait for all the adventures I'm gonna go on with him as he's growing up, as he's becoming more independent, going away on camping trips, you know, just teaching him how to build and construct things and, you know, projects I can do with him. It's gonna be a lifetime of fun and adventure and it fills me with so much excitement. And I think it's given me a deeper sense of purpose as well, where before I felt like I had to have this greater purpose in the world. And I still do like the idea that I can impact the world and impact people's lives and have a bigger reach, but, there's something that has shifted where I feel a much deeper sense of contentment in just being a dad. Like that is enough for me. I think in this time I've been reflecting and thinking about, okay, what is it that I want to be doing this year with our couples channel, with content on this channel. I think what I've decided I'd like to focus on on this channel is continuing some of the physical challenges and upping the game with those, maybe doing some ultra marathons, maybe mixing in some of the human powered adventures with some more solar powered and electric adventures in different vehicles and different fun uh, ways to travel across countries and, and do treks and yeah, just find challenging, fun adventures to, to go on. I think there's some limitation because I'm not gonna be gone for months at a time. I probably wouldn't even go for multiple weeks at the moment without Raya and Neo. But I'd like to find some really fun adventures. If you've got any suggestions of things I should challenge myself to do, whether, yeah, it's physical challenge or it's attempting to do something electric powered, whether it's with like electric skateboards, electric bikes, electric mopeds, cars, whatever it is, I am excited to plan some more of those this year. And then also, if you were following along the end of 2022, I did that drive across America in the Volkswagen and I almost made it to New York, but obviously there was battery issues. I got stranded, I had to, postpone the end of that trip. So that's still waiting out there. The Volkswagen has been repaired now. It's ready to get back on the road. So at some point this year, I'd love to pick up the Volkswagen and continue some kind of adventure. My dream would be to build a big solar array and do a trip with that solar powered. But unfortunately, I we could try that. I just think it's very time consuming because we'd have to wait a day in between traveling to recharge. So let's see what we can figure out with that. Uh, one thought is I could drive it from Wisconsin where it is down to Florida. I could try and do some sections of it solar powered. I could meet up with some of you, maybe visit some other cool eco projects on the way down. So that's potentially something I could do, I don't know, maybe like the end of the summer or something. But yeah, I'm really open to suggestions and I'm excited about this direction of my channel now being around physical and eco electric powered challenges and road trips or adventure missions. 
And then along with that, I think also kind of the DIY projects of building out the school bus, building the electric beetle, any other electric vehicles that I need to uh, construct or adapt to do some of these bigger challenges. I do think building, renovating and constructing things uh, and learning some skills, all of that kind of stuff I think uh, really excites me. I think it's been cool looking back over this channel and seeing what it's become, whether it was like back from the daily travel vlogs when I had no plan at all and I was just blowing with the wind and doing whatever and then you know settling down in LA after years of being this floating nomad and having more structure there, more community there, and then getting back on the road with Raya and doing all the big road trips we did in the school bus. And then being here this year and focusing more on DIY projects and physical challenges. So yeah, it's been, it's been cool reminiscing, looking back over the history of my channel really and being like, what do I want to do next? Where do I really find that fun and enjoyment and excitement for what I'm creating and sharing with you? And just really, letting that kind of lead the way. And I do think the key is to focus on what brings me joy, what brings me that immense amount of excitement in what I'm doing and sharing, uh, and then focusing on that because if I'm trying to do things that don't excite me, like what, what am I doing, you know? Why am I creating content that doesn't excite me? So I think that is gonna be my focus this year is come back to the heart of the channel, which is fun fun for Louis. I guess finally I just want to thank all of you that have been on this journey with me, that have followed along for years, some of you, and seen the evolution of my channel and the evolution of my life and where my passions lie now and, and being willing to journey as I enter into new chapters, being a dad and all of the things that that entails and the changes that happen because of that and I hope that I can continue to share my life and share adventures and things I'm up to, whether it's on this channel or on our couples channel. If you're not subscribed, we're gonna be sharing a lot more of our day-to-day -day life and you know, uh, our experiences with Neo and parenting. And I think that's gonna be more life updates. And then, like I said, this is gonna be more projects and adventures and uh, challenges. So I appreciate all of you that are still watching or people that have recently subscribed and are watching my adventures. And it's gonna be an exciting year. I'm gonna try and find the balance this year. It's one of my things is a balance with family life, trying to film and upload regular videos on our two channels and just finding that joy, just having joy as being the, the core thing that gives me energy in life. And I think we are setting up our life at the moment to allow for as much joy as possible. And if some of you have had a tough start to the year as well, I empathize and I feel there can be things in life, maybe it's completely different situations you're going through, but there can be things in life that can drag us down, hang in there, surround yourself with good people, uh, don't give up hope find daily practices that can help you nourish yourself, good sleep, eat well, get out in nature, get fresh air, practice gratitude, uh, focus on the things that you are grateful for having. Also, thanks again to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. Check out the link in the description. And then, yeah, hopefully my next video will be from Costa Rica. Hopefully we'll jump into looking at the school bus, how I can be constructing uh, a new interior for that, figuring out how on earth we're gonna move that onto a new section of our land, clearing the land, planning everything. Uh, I'm so excited to bring you guys out there and uh, yeah, I'll see you very, very soon. Peace.